Oh, what is it? Huh? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sit. <laughs> Good is the mark of when the dog was doing a good job. The food is a follow-up on the good that I'm a person of my word. I'm Sandra LaFalma, Canines for Heroes. We start with fun, we end with fun today. Carlos getting groomed. I want to show you a couple of things that you may not see elsewhere, but with little dogs, some folks might kind of manhandle their way through things. With a big dog, you got to have a lot of training to get to the point where it's like this. So there's a lot of training. Check out our videos, like and subscribe to the Canines for Heroes channel and you'll see offered behavior, you'll see shaping. It all comes together in training. No matter where you are, there's different levels and it all involves being connected. Now I'm really connected with this puppy and I'm gonna show something really special and that the handling of the feet happens when they're with the breeder. You may not get a dog that came straight from the breeder that handled them. The AKC breeders all handle their puppies as soon as they're born, work with their feet, work with their mouth, work with their, their whole body so that they get used to the sensation of they're going to be worked with. So today I'm going to show offer behavior in, this is going to be really simple, that if this is the first time this dog's heard this tremor, this is a normal Dremel from the hardware store. And when their nails grow, you got to keep them dremeled. And go to a groomer, go to a class, but I'm just going to show you how simple it is. And not a big deal, is it? We're eating, not a big deal. So right now we're going to see that this is new. I don't necessarily want to be involved. Kelso didn't jerk away from me. But this is the beginning of working with offer behavior. I want your foot, you're gonna eat. So today, Kelso's a little bit hungry. And as we work with Kelso, you're gonna see the end result is his nails are gonna be trimmed. If you have a dog that's never been worked with, it may take a couple of days. But with the food on the other side of what's going on and a hungry dog, we're not starving dogs here. We're creating an opportunity for offer behavior and reward in a language that you're connecting with your dog, you're the breadwinner, you're feeding and making a transaction, you're doing a good job, so here you go. And this is where you come together with any kind of new noise, any kind of 4th of July, new noise, right? Do I want the food or am I nervous about the new noise? I want the food. And that's the beginning of where you start working. We already know Kelso let me touch his feet just fine. And the groomer's going to do a really good job. She'll have something to maintain his steadiness of head because you don't want to accidentally hurt yourself if this is the first time. You want to work with the groomer, get trained. But if you've seen other videos and they have a smaller dog and peanut butter, well, that doesn't necessarily work with larger dogs who are super well fed. So all of our working dogs, you usually can see and feel a rib. That's going to give you an indicator that the dog is not overfed. This is a fire hose of information today, but I'm here to help. Sandra LaFlama, Canines for Heroes. We train service dogs in Sarasota, Manatee County for veterans and first responders. So click like and subscribe to help keep funding these dogs and to support veterans and first responders who served us first. Thanks for all your help today, and thanks for everything that you do to support people with PTSD. Oh, what is it? Huh? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Whoops. Good boy. Good boy. Nuts. Oh, what a good boy. Nuts. Good nuts. Good nuts. Yep. <laughs> Kelso, go to bed. 
bed. Let's. Good bed. Yep. Good boy. Bed. Good bed. Good good bed. Good bed. Good bed. Okay. Yeah. Good boy.